Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Hospital Hobby Tips. In the last episode, we uh, made an, uh, uh, a plate marine with an icon of despair, and I think he turned out really well. Um, so, we'll continue playing around with the, those monopose death guard that uh, I know I have a lot of them and I uh, assume that a lot of other people do too. So today we want to make this guy from the core box set hold the blind launcher from uh, the easy to assemble or, um, or the first strike box. And uh, that is pretty straightforward, but we're going to play around a little more. Um, we're gonna swap his backpack for this one because I figured him being a specialist, uh, the smoke coming out of uh, the, the what do you call it, um, the sensor on his uh, backpack will make him stand out and make him easy to find. Um, especially when uh, calculating ranges and stuff. And instead of his bolt gun, because that would be silly, we're going to give him this plate knife that is currently attached to a torso. So first things first, we're gonna need to get that arm free of the torso. Like that. And now we have two pretty poseable arms. Ta-da! So, next up, we'll get the guy assembled without arms, and then the fun begins. <clears throat> so, the glue has dried, and this is now one model, so to say. Um, so, first thing we're gonna do is remove anything that gets in the way of the arms we wanna add to them. And this little nub on the back too, because he's not going to get his original backpack. And this horn, we're going to remove that too, because uh, it fits in uh, in the shoulder pad that we will be using for another model at some point. Like that, and. Because the backpack I chose have some uh, bells and stuff hanging out of it, it will. It looks like it will be conflicting with the topmost grenade. That's okay. I'm just gonna remove that too and throw it over in the pile of spare grenades that I will be using in the near future for something as well. So first thing we want to make sure fits right is of course this one and we'll just dry fit it. I want it aimed more out uh, so it's aiming the way he's looking which means I'll have to remove a bit more here. A bit more I think. And on the arm itself. Just move. Better, much better actually. And this is the pose I wanted and that leaves a little gap, but we'll just fix that. Before we do though, make sure to remove mold line from the gun and drill the barrel of course. There we go. Just try fitting one more time to make sure I'm happy with it. And 
actually I think this is exactly what I want, so that's good. All those spikes hurt my hurts my fingers when I try to push it together. Next thing I want to add is the backpack because uh, when I post the the other arm, I want to be sure that it uh, it doesn't conflict with that. I will, however, just cut a bit more off here on camera. Actually, I just realized right now while looking at him that this horn doesn't look very good with that smoke and it also makes him look a lot like his original version of himself. So we're gonna take that off before we put the backpack back on and save the horn to put on someone else to make them look different. Clever, right? Yeah. Now the other arm is starting to move away. You know what? I'll be right back once I fix this. And as for the final arm, um, these belts would look cool, but they are conflicting a lot with both his pose and the backpack, so they gotta go. And once again, I'll be careful when removing them, because I want to be able to add them to another model. This way I'm building up quite a collection of little bits to decorate future Death Guard with. Which obviously is especially nice for uh, the units that cross over, where you can't buy them in a completed Death Guard version, such as uh, Rhinos or Defiler, stuff like that, Chaos Bombs even. Or just to pimp and uniquify, if that's a word, um, these monopose guys. So now the bells, the sound can actually be where I wanted it to be. That's nice. Once again, need to cut a little bit, but not a lot. A little bit, but not a lot. Great job, Aaron. You speak words. There we go. And you might have noticed I've placed them quite uh, far out on the base and that is of course because I want this guy to be accompanied by an earthling too. Not that I will do that with all the converted ones, but it just feels right to uh, to have some nerglings running around in between the unit. This one is also from the Plague Barrow's Brew, like the one I used in the last episode. So, here we have him with his little dancing nerkling companion. Um, and uh, I think he'll go well with the with the Monopose uh, Blight Launcher guy, um, giving the option of having two in the unit. If you want to see how I uh, paint up my uh, Death Guard, there is a video in this playlist called uh, Painting Death Guard, I believe, or Plague Marines, perhaps. Anyway, check that out and uh, remember to subscribe. There will be coming more of these uh, how to mod your Monopose Death Guards up in, uh, in the coming days. and. Uh, if you want to see these specific miniatures painted, be sure to follow uh, Aaron Painting on you on Facebook and uh, Instagram, because uh, I will be posting pictures of them once they're done there. Other than that, take care and uh, bye bye.